welcome to the part 4 of this tutorial uh, the part of uh, Photoshop for architects in previous parts uh, we have done the sofas and this uh, side tables and also we have done with the chairs uh, only thing we have to do this this thing in uh, dining table so just I have not done it because of uh, this is not shown in previous tutorial so let's get started we'll take one uh, layer and select a plant and select my magic wand go and select and click on uh, gradient and I'll say black and white say radial somehow it will be uh, reverse but scale will be more say slightly say 150 will be fine say ok now uh, in this uh, kitchen top we will do something uh, different not only assigning a solid color so just we will see what it happens and how it reacts still uh, taking band selecting the kitchen top just open my textures mm. something uh, that might be I'll do with the presets maybe like this or something and we'll change the scale it's not looking good still should be uh, on darker side click I'll say large thumbnails so we can see the things but still it's not I'm good to see as such maybe this will be fine I'll say with 10 or 15 will fine say ok now this can be uh, same thing can be done over here by just clicking only the selection and clicking on this mask I'll say rebuild by filling the black sorry filling the white I'll say put on this texture and this I'll go and do the same thing what I have done for uh, fittings so there will be no contrast colors for everywhere uh, let's put my simple black and white color so it will be won't be more disturbing to see it say gradient and in this case we can't assign to more than two objects so we'll take one by one I'll just now we'll take the gradient with will be radial say reverse and say some around we will stretch the pattern of the gradient still I don't like this black it may be a darker blue something like this will look uh, very good so change this black to dark blue dark 
blue side on dark blue side this is looking good so we have already made the preset over here so it's, it's fine so same thing can be uh, done with the frizz uh, also so I'll just pause my tutorial so now we have done uh, with this thing and the main thing we will start with this lesson is will give some depth to all those uh, uh, objects so the best way to give the depth is will select this background thing and uh, we'll take one more layer a plain layer and say shadow now I'll take brush little bit soft hardness will be zero and we'll take dark black some around will come with this opacity it's very simple to just so it will give some nice depth to it if you want some kind of more depth just click one or two two thing same on this so it gives a more depth and the volume you can directly paint as such it will not come on the upper object you can add some shadows like this also with the bed so give the more depth So now it is not happening over here because we have not selected the background texture just click just make sure you should be on auto select layer so when you select it will select the layers so I'll take the brush again and take one more layer and say shadow I can just paint around and can play with this shadows there are many things we can also change the mode and say multiply and it will give you a uh, very darker shade on it so likewise also we can do it So here it is and I'll take one more layer so I can oops because this bad texture is below that so now we'll do it it 
won't be happen so this is what uh, we can add the depth to this thing and we'll add some trees I'll go to select and say color range or you can say highlight and say ok now I just want only this tree and I'll say control shift I that is invert but still there is some white in it so again I'm going control Z now I'll select and say similar okay so just make sure that's I'll just control shift I and say mask and take one background of the blue say still it's there so I'll go to select and say color range I'll choose this white and again I'll fill the black select similar can now fill with the black now still somehow we don't have white that's what uh, we want and I can go over this main file and place over here now the freshness is there in the tree never mind if the small branches is not having good volume I can vanish it off just will indoor plant will be there I'll take this tiny mask box and and do this can vanish it off the remaining branches we don't want so it won't look too creepy while uh, making the scenes I can come down with more you can keep this in the balcony and I'll make sure this should be on upper side just drag this layer upward now it's fine and generally uh, plants is too small and in balcony just we have to make sure for the size Let's say copies I'll just pause my videos and make sure uh, I'll make these copies in one or two balconies and then continue it so now we have done with this uh, plants and uh, and one more novelty uh, novelty is this so we can add uh, these people and just we can select it and say control shift I I can inverse it control shift I and take this people in the file and just will take one or two of them I'll take with the lasso tool this you can find on internet and you can search with people in top or or whatever you may be just keep something over here so it's not an office maybe we have to walk it under there and control V so the rest of the people will be there I'll take this one Control X and Control V. So getting this in kitchen. And 
so this will be control X control V so I'll take this one sim around in balcony just say rotate this way now this is fine and then rest of people I don't want if you want you can add one or two or more of them but this is how uh, I want to look uh, my plan and uh, the least uh, uh, of course if you want to add uh, the dimensions and the text uh, which Photoshop can give a very nice flexibility to write this text so I can say black or this color say a living room so I can slightly tilt it can give the shadows and same same text I can drag it over here you can say so a little bit of scaling or else we'll be fine with this because for reading it will be disturbing so bedroom bedroom so this is what uh, I was uh, talking about so if you like my tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online if you want some kind of tutorial do let me know so I can make for you thanks for watching my tutorial